Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Salem. Today I'm on webcam because my computer is having problems. So hopefully this will record uh, all right and I guess we'll find out. So our question today comes to us from Red Dragon who asks if, uh, as a pagan, I occasionally wonder if perhaps I'm wrong and uh, the Judeo-Christian point of view is correct and that uh, I worry about what that would mean. And the answer, which actually was given by someone else in uh, in response, uh, and is completely correct, is that having been raised pagan, no, I don't really worry about that because it makes no sense to me. My theory is that God, however you look at God, whatever you call God, must be bigger than we ourselves are. And I could not really imagine a God um, who does stupid things, for want of a better way to put it. And to go to all the trouble of creating a soul for nothing more than that doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, as an artist, I know the amount of work you put into creating things. As a human being, I, um, I just can't fathom such impracticality. To be perfectly honest, it's just not a sensible thing to do. And I suppose if one is God, one can throw away uh, whatever one wants, but it seems like a tremendous waste of effort. And I would think that a creative being would have better things to be doing. So for that reason, above all others, it makes no sense to me. Now, the other thing that I sometimes say, which isn't necessarily um, part of my reasoning process, but is absolutely something that I think, is that I wouldn't waste my time worrying about it when the people who preach about it can't agree among themselves which of them is saved and which of them is not. Because there is no decision that I could make uh, that would make any difference because they all claim each other are damned to eternal hell. So, you know, if I chose this church over here and joined it, this church over there would be saying it wouldn't make any difference. And if I joined the one over there, the one over here would be saying it. And, you know, if that were my, my consideration, well, there's no answer for it because they themselves have no answer for it. They believe they're all going to hell. Uh, so I'm much happier with our pagan point of view. So that's our vlog for today, and I hope that answers your question, Red Dragon. And uh, tonight, I will be appearing on Occult Science Radio at blogtalk.com, blogtalkradio.com. And um, that will be at 6 p.m., and I uh, hope you're free to catch it. And we'll be back tomorrow with another question. And until next time, may you blessed be.